Today, Precarious plays The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. I've got something that I want to talk about. Good luck. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll see if we can go 15 seconds without getting derailed by something cute. Look at the entire complex we were just in. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Here we are. Time to get big again. That's good. Give give me a bit of a, a break. We can smash this thing up and. Hey, that stone marker crumbled, and there's another of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Hmm. I want a sweet pet bird that sleeps on my head. Mm. That wears a diaper. <laughs> yeah, that's where I was gonna. That's where I was gonna go. Uh, to the north. Yeah, I was just curious. Oh, that looks hot. That's fine. I it's feel fine. like it's not fine, but we're gonna go on in there. No, this tunic. This tunic breathes. It's fine. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. You should save because we haven't saved since we started. Oh, yes. True. Hmm. So there is something that I wanted to talk about, and it's how this game compares to other top-down Zeldas. Hmm. It is interesting... One thing that stands out to me, that was a pretty substantial journey up the mountainside. There, there's usually stuff to do on the over, oh, huh. I'll be dang darned. Hmm. Why not this one? Maybe that one's a trap. Spike. Like maybe it's an enemy or something? Like maybe some sort of like angler fish, but it dangles a rupee on its head, something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, there's other doors. Okay, Doctor Smart Brain. Oh yeah, <laughs> one right there. In fact, um, that's Captain Sir Doctor Smart Brain. Oh, can I? Let's. There you go. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, ooh, uh oh. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. This is fine. I meant for this to be. Hmm. Yeah, you just you just do your thing there. You Ooh. should pick up those bombs. I have lots. Oh. And they seem to be oh. Um. So. What was I saying? In comparison uh, to other top-down Zeldas, this game, blah blah. <laughs> um, <laughs> design, whatever. That's where you were going. Yeah. Um. That was a, a fairly lengthy dungeon-esque section of overworld. It's not something that is unheard of. No. You might want to put your shield on for those. Mm-hmm. See if you can bounce them away. I'm thinking about how in Link's Awakening, there's a a longer section of the game where you, well, you don't want to be here because if they hit you, they're just going to bounce you back into the other room. Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. Um, how? With your shield. Mm. Duh. Okay. See? Easy. Oh. Even a bird brain would know that one. Boo. <laughs> you might be able to shield bash it if you don't want to wait for it to charge you. Yeah. No, apparently not. Yeah, you, you just did. You can just walk into it. See? And it flips it. Yeah, but it doesn't damage it. No, that's not what I was saying. I'm just saying you can. you don't have to wait for them to charge... You can oh, run right. into them to force them to flip. I see. Thank you. Ah! 
There's a pretty lengthy section. Presents! <laughs> In a big box! It's like the third room. Okay. The... I, the problem is I can't remember the name. I think it's a chateau or a manse. Some sort of, like, local lord... lordling has a small castle that Link has to basically go through a gauntlet of enemies to beat a a mini boss. Mm hmm. Oh! oh! I wish I hadn't been right. It is just, it really is like an anglerfish. You're gonna wanna escape. I, I shimmy, know. shimmy, shimmy, I'm shake. Shimmying. Shimmy harder, shimmy faster. <gasps> and then slash it before it digests your junk. Ugh. Okay. That wasn't so bad, I guess. So make sure that you check rubies in this dungeon with your pot. Yeah. That was a pretty safe place to learn, and yet... No. I've never been so upset <laughs> to be right <laughs> about something. I think I've seen that before. I think I've seen like likes that act like anglerfish, you know? Just like that one. What's another, like, sort of lengthy... I, I guess an Ocarina of Time? Oh no, that's not top-down. So, I should... Well, still, I guess... It's still worth mentioning. There's the section right after Link becomes an adult, and you have to go get the hookshot before you can get into the Forest Temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, then later, there's the whole thing with the, the Gerudo before you can get into the Spirit Temple. And actually, if you count... I don't know if it's fair to count the kid Link portion of that as like a pre-dungeon situation or not. It's sort of like a prelude to to the big boss situation. Hmm. And I guess it, it we know it, it has its own dungeon item of swords because you get the gauntlets there. It's not... I don't think that big extended sequences like that are as uncommon as I uh, first recalled them being, you know? Mm -hmm. Still, I was impressed with how it effectively had a dungeon-esque item that recontextualized an earlier part of that space, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you have the the walls that originally, they, they don't do anything for you, except, I don't know, tip you off that boulders are going to be a tumbling. Yeah. But then once you get the, um, the climbing item, then you can, you can use them as a shortcut. Ooh. <laughs> Ahem. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Hmm? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared? Oh wait, no. After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared? There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh, ow. Lion bird. Not a bird, you're a lion. Oh. What? Is it a... I... What are you? Weird creature. The bird. Oh! Birds are weird. <laughs> Whoa! Why? <laughs> well. Oh, sweet jumping jellyfish. That was awful. Hey, kid, what are you smiling about? Oh, man. I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rick rickety human contraption. I got way off voice again, but. <laughs> it, you know, you hit your head again. Yeah. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. I think it was that... <laughs> it's really hard to try to keep a posh air while you talk about jumping jellyfish. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Oh, my. There's a lot happening. Oh, 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 oh. Like, what's an appropriate posh ex exclamation. 
Oh, what? The servants are on strike? Oh no! What is it? Heavens me. There's... <laughs> what? You just reminded me of... of, uh, Downton Abbey. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's this part early on. Oh, do tell. Oh, oh, ouch. Cook the grenade for too long. There's this part early on where the Dowager Countess does not understand what jobs... What is... A, what is a weekend, is what she says. <laughs> Without irony, completely seriously, at dinner, because... What's his buns? Who's like a little bit more working class, and by working class, I mean filthy rich lawyer. But you know, compared to them, ugh. I mean, like has to leave Peasant. the house. I know, yeah, right. Um, anyways, I'm sorry. Must leave the grounds. But what is a job? <laughs> a job? <laughs> a what? <laughs> you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But seriously, like there is. It's a meme now. Okay. And it uh, is now being used completely out of context, of course, as as all good memes are being used. <laughs> so when uh -huh. whenever somebody's like, "But what is a weekend?" They're usually working on the weekend. <laughs> 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 the opposite of what she was talking about. Anyway, yeah. anywho, a weekend. Hmm. But what is T -T -T. a weekend? Hmm. How interesting! So there was a portal hidden away in here. Hmm. Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop up here and press R. So this is this area's shrinky do. Oh, oh no! These are all. Oh no! Oh no! They're in, in like every room. Oh, did you see that door slam shut? Oh, that's usual. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna shrink. That probably just means it's a one-way door. But I know we passed like six of those little arrow ports. Finish dance, finish dance, rah, rah, rah. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath from laughing at this silly little game. Yeah, what did you say? Oh no. It's okay. They can't touch me. Oh. They huh. don't care. They don't know I'm here. <laughs> I'm too small. That's cool. Although... Is that gonna eat me? Gonna... Oh! That's not cool. Fine. I'll find all the switches. That's cool, though. Oh. oh! Hold on, can you go interact with the chest? Because you know it would be the coolest thing in the world. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could, like, go into the box and if it was, like, a little mini dungeon where you had to flip the switch and get the item from the end? Ah, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. There was a... We didn't... I don't think that we... Ooh, lava's ahead. I don't think that we ever did it. But I had plans for a mouse guard sort of mini campaign that was more like fantasy D&D &D inspired. And the entire thing was going to take place in a giant treasure chest. And by a giant treasure chest, mean I mean a regular, regular size. Chest. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's that. I'm mad at you for not doing that now. Well, it's it immediate. It was towards the end of whenever we were playing Mouse Guard, and you were kind of out of steam at that point. Yeah, I didn't want to fight for it. Well, the thing is, everybody was sort oh. of like, "Oh my, it looks really, really hot in that lava." Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you should clear those pots out first. And you should probably be able to weave your way to the left to get whatever is in that box. Turns! Ha! Hee! Ho! All right. Okay, hang on. Sorry, I- Nice I and smooth. I need to put on a different Oh, hey, whoa. gamer mask. Uh, end of the episode. Jeez, let that one get away from me. What's a 15 minute episode for Minish Cap? Gosh, I completely forgot what we were doing. <sighs> that is so sweet, but at the same time, what were you thinking? 